What's up 3D printing people? Welcome back to our channel. Have you been trying to create beautiful two-tone prints like this using Creality Print on your K1 or K1 Max? You still haven't been able to? <laughs> well, let me show you, man. Well, stick around as we use Creality Print to create two-tone magic. Let's get to it. First up, open Creality Print. I like this slicer for the K1 series because it was basically designed for it. The only problem is it doesn't have a G-code modified option like Cure Slicer and other slicing programs. We'll be tackling this issue later in the video. Load your file of choice. After loading or adjusting your desired slicer settings, slice your file. Go to the layer slider and find the layer where you want to pause and change filament. Once you locate the layer, go to the G-code preview menu. Click on the G-code button next to color show. You'll see the actual layer inside of the G-code file where you want the change to take place. Take note of this information. It could be different than the slider layer number. So write this location down, save your G-code file to a place on your computer. Here's where we step out of Creality Print to make this take effect. I'm using text edit app on my Mac. Notepad++ works just as well for PC. Open up your G-code file from the location you saved it to. Go to the edit menu, locate find, and then click find from the side menu. Type layer inside of the search bar. Don't type the number of the layer, just the word layer, and scroll through the findings with the side arrow until you find the layer you're looking for. Right above that layer, you'll see a line that says time elapsed. Above this line, enter the G code pause. This is the clipper command that K1 understands. This will tell the printer to pause at this location. It's right before the layer you want the change to occur. If you place pause below the time elapsed line, it will not recognize the G-code command. Make sure text edit saves as plain text by going to settings inside of the app and selecting the option. Then save your G-code. Open Creality Print, load up your G-code and send it to the K1. Retract existing filament from your K1. Swap out the filament spool, ensuring the new color is properly loaded and extracted into the K1. Resume the print. The printer will now print the loaded filament color at the layer you programmed it to. And there you have it. Change your filament mid print on your Creality K1 or K1 Max using G-Code Editing. It opens up a world of possibility on your 3D prints. What would you print two colors on your K1 or K1 Max? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Happy printing, people. See you in the next video.